up on today's big dub. First game of the uh, season that ends in a victory for the Las Vegas Raiders. And it was quite a amusing, entertaining, and suspenseful game, really. It did come down to the last uh, two minutes, for sure. But yeah, the Raiders this time around just played much, much better. They showed a lot of improvement on, I would say, particularly, um, defense was looking great as it has been in the past. You know, defensive players are making plays and today we actually even got a, a, a defensive touchdown score. Um, so the defense just balled out actually. They really tamed Russell Wilson and his offense and really shut things down but also Derek Carr and the offense really produced points this time they surely did um they really drove the ball more efficiently down the field this time around and ultimately you know the Raiders put up 32 points in this game against the good Denver Broncos that are being hyped to be having a Super Bowl caliber contender uh, defense and so to put up that many points on a defense like that is not easy but we got it done at home you know at Legion Stadium very important win I would say for the team morale and just um, outlook on the rest of the year it was really important to get your first win in week four rather than in week eight you know so right now the Raiders are one and three and uh, we just got to be chill with that, you know? We got to accept it for what it is. We've played three three other close games that we lost, but, uh, but those games are in the past now. And after a game like this, a performance like this, I think the team can really rally and uh, get more wins for sure throughout the season, throughout the year. Um, now that they know they've done it uh, against a good team. And so... You know, Josh Jacobs had an amazing performance tonight or today at Allegiant Stadium. Had 144 yards rushing and uh, and really was the guy that actually ended up um, sealing the deal, you know, within the last two minutes. Just a really tough dude, man. Honestly, Josh Jacobs' effort out there on the field is is just amazing, amazing. We truly are lucky to have such an such a great back you know um let's look at Derek Carr's numbers he will he threw 34 passes completed 21 that's good through for 188 yards that's whatever you know um could be more should should be more moving forward but then again that that, that was a good defense and you could tell um starting the game because I, I did watch all four quarters it wasn't looking like it was going to be easy to move the ball on the on the defense of the Broncos but uh, but yeah so I can understand why they didn't give up you know a 300 yard game in the air that that's a good defense what other notable stats oh Derek Carr actually used his legs today which is what I've been really asking for for so long it seems like um i want him to be more mobile and just like pick up yard pick up yards on with his legs and that's what he was doing today he he had actually 40 40 yards on the ground that's amazing he ran seven different on seven different occasions including a big one for a first down late in the game when the raiders were driving so Big, big shout out to Carr. I mean, he really, he really stepped up this game. I think he really uh, took more upon his shoulders and made sure that he was going to lead a, a team to like a win. So yeah, and then the Devontae Adams, you know, um, really stepped up, had a, a hundred yard game, no touchdowns though, but yeah, he was very active in the uh, in the uh, plays um, to pick up downs. You know, our defense, like I was saying, really performed well today. They really did. Um, Max Crosby got two sacks. That's cool. 
you know, that's not easy to do on a guy like Russell Wilson. And then the other sack came by Nate Hobbs, who's been amazing. He's a truly great uh, cornerback now for the Raiders. And uh, so, yeah, we, we sacked Russell Wilson three times. Yep. Daniel Carlson put up 14 points. <laughs> That's kind of cool. He made four field goals, including a 39-yard long field goal. That's the thing is the Raiders got into the end zone and ended up having to settle for three points often in this game, which if they wouldn't have, you know, we'd be talking about a 40-point game. But uh, then uh, punting A.J. Cole, his average was... 53 yards per punt. That is great. So yeah, our special teams is pretty good. Um, but yeah, Russell Wilson had a decent game. Only threw 25 throws, 17 completions, 237 yards. Uh, I guess those are uh, good numbers, but uh, by no means does that, you know, mean that uh, he had a field day on the defense of the Raiders, even having scored two touchdowns which he did do, you know, he picked up one from a pass and then the other one um, by running in. So, you know, just Russell Wilson doing this thing. <sighs> yeah. Their top receiver, they really split their, uh, their catches, you know, but, uh, you know, um, None of their receivers had a 100-yard game or anything like that. Um, so really all this tells you, man, is that the Raiders' defense really, really did their job. Really did not allow m much, uh, much scoring by the Broncos, for sure. Held them to 23 points. Um, their, their defense, however, got to car twice, you know, two sacks, one by... K1 Williams and the other one DJ Jones. Um, but that having said that, I know that Derek Carr was amazing today as far as mobility goes. He really uh, extended plays and he picked up yards on his feet as well and slid also uh, having already picked up the down, the first down. So he played a really smart game, Derek Carr, man. I, I shout out to him. Good for him. And good for the Raiders, you know, to get another win because, hey, we, we, we do need to get one. And, um, you know, I don't want to, like, say, oh, like, let's just not go to the playoffs this year. No, like, let's just get one today and then, you know, the Chiefs game next week will be difficult. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised, you know. But I also would not be surprised if they... You know really put up a fight out there in Kansas City this team after what we saw today is tough this is a this is a good team that uh, showed that they want to compete and they want to stay in competition mode um, however that is to be tested still against when we play like those high scoring offenses like Kansas City who we got next week um, but yeah a lot of improvement by uh, the offense. Um, Darren Waller also played good today. Um, again, our backs really did amazing as well. Samir White, shout out to Samir White, the rookie, doing things, man, on offense. It's just good to see, you know, that um, they really kind of clicked to, today and uh, really got after it and moved the ball down the field a lot more. So let me look at the uh, total yards real quick to just finalize here uh what we did today on the field as a team let's look here so total yards 385 yards by the raiders broncos 299 passing yards 173 raiders broncos 214 rushing yards this is where we did it man 212 rushing yards shout out to the o-line by the way they were busy today um, and they did a, a, a fantastic job. Also, their, our defense, run defense, held them to 85 yards. And so that was great. We picked up 25 first downs. Like I said, we did stay on the field this time. 
and uh, our penalties were just four four on the day. They had seven on the day. No interceptions for Carr and time of possession, man. This is where it's at. You know, time of possession, 34 minutes, 52 seconds for 74 total plays. That's great. Compared to theirs, 25 minutes and 8 seconds and 48 plays. So we almost doubled in terms of total plays. So our offense really did their, their assignment of being on the field, extending drives, putting points on the board. That's what it's about. That's how you win games. Thank you, guys. Just win, baby. Go Raiders.